In this video I'm going to talk about the Nokia glance screen as well as some other new display options here on the Lumia 925. Now these will be coming to other devices but they're seen here first. So you can see Nokia glance screen here, it's an always on clock so this is when it's fully locked the phone. You get your phone out your pocket you'll always see the time without having to do anything else. Now it's quite intelligent you'll see if we uh, cover up the ambient light sensor that's equivalent to putting it in your pocket in just a few seconds that clock will disappear and switch off but if we take it away again getting it out of our pocket the clock reappears there now this is in addition to the standard lock screen you can see i've double tapped that's another new feature to unlock but let's just uh, plug in a power source so you can see some of the extra symbols that appear if i switch things off again you can see the clock will appear and now we've got a, a battery symbol with a charging indicator as i say this is in addition to the standard lock screen so if we undo that we can then go and have a look at this in settings so just open up the settings application go down to the display plus touch application this is specific to nokia's lumia devices by the way you can see here we've got display touch we'll come back to this in a minute because there's some other new features there but this is the glance setup you can have it set to always on or you can switch have it switch to time so that will save a bit more power it notes here that if you have it always on it will use up more power there's also a night mode well what's that well you saw that the clock was displayed in white when it's at night mode time it will display it in red so it's not so bright ideal for when it's sitting next to your bed for example and you can set there the time at which that night mode kicks in let's just go and have a look at some of these other new display features lumia color profile this is quite a notable one been previewed for quite a while this is a way of basically changing the color profile of your device. So people complain about uh, a screen not being warm enough or maybe not being vibrant or too vibrant. This will allow them to change it through several settings. You can see there's both a saturation and a temperature. It won't show terribly clearly on the video, but we'll just change that from enhanced up to vivid and then we'll change the color temperature down to cool. And you can see just a change in this pitch if we choose another one and then put those back the other way you can see just a change there and so in a way this is allowing you to set the display to your personal preference uh, so far i've actually found it fine to just be on roughly the middle settings but uh, everyone will vary but it's a, a nice extra to have you'll be able to set the screen to exactly what you want it to be the uh, similar the sunlight readability enhancements that's uh, again specifically Nokia stay here as well as the battery saver brightness that's obviously reducing screen brightness when your battery is running low but this uh, touch thing that is worth mentioning as well touch sensitivity that's to do with a uh, super sensitive touch on this device so uh, this is from all the other Nokia devices where using the back of your fingernail or indeed something like a cable we just borrow the uh, USB cable there to use the touch controls you can use pen as well there's actually a new version of this in the 925 it's more sensitive than it was before and so more items can use this super sensitive touch but also notice there's a double tap to wake up the phone option we saw that earlier let's just uh, do that again so you can see how it works back to the glance screen two taps on the phone and it unlocks it and then unlocking it again okay so there we go there's a quick look through some of the display options on the nokia lumia 925 